Hello everyone, my name is Oldish22, and I'm here today to give you guys a Path of Exile uh, Act 2 guide for new players. It's the same as our first. We did Act 1 uh, in my last video. Um, but today we're going to do Act 2 for you guys. Uh, right now I'm in the Act 1 town, but if you remember after we finished Act 1 here... Or did we turn this in? I don't remember actually. I think we turned this in, right? I thought you were full. Okay. No, so we're good. We're good. We're good. I was thinking of um I was thinking of the way forward here for some reason. <laughs> Anyways. We're gonna go to Act 2 here. And uh, the Southern Forest. Oh, that's right. I didn't go to the town. I got you, I got you now. Um Yeah, I didn't I didn't go to the town. That's why. I was thinking that's why it was the next one. So anyways, um, today we're going to do Act 2. All you have to do for this uh, area here is uh, you just going to go straight up to the right usually is where the town is. So we'll, we'll go this way here. Woohoo! We leveled up. We leveled up. But yeah, usually it's like on the right right here. So I'm gonna grab this level here, and this—if you guys are new to this video, um, if you guys are new to this video, I was gonna say, what I'm pretty much doing is I just want to help out brand new players, uh, to PoE to make it easier for them if they needed a guide to follow. So yeah, I'm just talking to all these guys because I'm gonna get all the quests right here. But yeah, that's, that's my whole goal right now. Is just I just want to help all the new players that uh, start a PoE. And they have this guide that will help them out. So today we're going to do Act 2. And then next week I'll make my Act 3 video. And we're going to do all the way for the first 10 acts at least. And then I'm thinking about doing some random videos. Maybe like through gear. Explaining some gear. Or like the flask system. Stuff like that. Maybe I'll, I might uh, talk a little bit about the flask stuff. Like beforehand. Just so. Um, like during the acts and stuff like that. And some other like gear requirements. And all that but right now and i'm doing all the quests i'm doing all the quests so the first one we're gonna go do is the great white beast i usually do not do the great white beast because if i remember correct correctly um that the great white beast i'm pretty sure gives you respect points or an item but usually i skip it even on my leak start uh, you know you can go back to it and do it if you have to that's totally up to you because, I mean, you could be a person that just loves to do all the quests. That's totally fine. Um, totally, totally up to you what you want to do. So, we're looking for the den. And it's usually around this area somewhere. I think it's it's pretty random, if I remember correctly. Again, I don't really do this quest much. Unless it's a challenge, then I'll, then I'll do it. But, it's all up to you. But I want to show you guys all the quests. This guy right here, he's always in the middle of the road. It's not a bad way to test your damage. Honestly, he's, he's decently tanky. But, uh, yeah, not too, too bad. Let's say I'm actually going to take this leather belt. Reason why I'm going to take that leather belt. Oh, actually, we can do this right here. So, Orb Alchemy will make a item into a yellow item. If you did not know that. So, I'm going to do that. Look at that. Give me more life, more mana, and flash charge regain. Alright, so this is where we have to go next. Oh no, this is the den. Oh, I lied. For a second, because this road was right here. If you want to get to the crossroads, you just have to follow the road. That's all you have to do to get to the next area, which is right I'm here. Not up to that just yet. But we're going to go do the den, so we can go kill the great white beast here. Um, which this this guy is in here. God, I have, yeah, I have not done this quest in a really long time. So, go... Spiders here. Some good XP. I don't really know the route at all or the layout on this one. Um, again, it's random. Usually big beast here. Oh, he's right here. Wow, it's like a really small area. I felt like that was a lot longer back in the day. But anyways, this is the great white beast. This guy right here. It, literally, the name, great white beast. So we gotta fight this guy. 
giant old bear looking dude. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the crossroads after I beat the den here. Okay, so we're on this side. We're going to the other end. Honestly, it probably would have been better just to walk back. But, uh, oh well, we'll get some XP, I guess, right? If you guys didn't know, monster level is right here for the area and the place that you're at and the league and then free-for-all is for the... The loot system if you if you play in a party or not. And then obviously your server that you're you're playing on. But yeah, it's a good way to tell like monster level 14. I'm level 16, so I'm definitely over leveled. Like a good leveling tip is uh I think you usually want to be under two levels for each area to get like the maximum two or three levels, I think, to get like the maximum uh like XP. That's a good way to look at it. But I'm like way over leveled. But really, I don't, I wouldn't even have to like really fight these guys. Oh, did I get them? Did they get them? But I don't know. Sometimes I get in the mood where I just like kill everything. So, but uh, if I, if it's like leak certain stuff, I kind of want to go fast because I want to get the maps. But for this video, like I said, we're doing all the quests. So I'm gonna go back here and I'm gonna change, I'm gonna uh, uh, turn this quest in real quick. The white. Okay, so these are for items here, which life belt would probably not be a bad idea, depending on what you're playing. Um, if you want more physical damage, life, or uh, strength belt, or energy shield. And everything, like base item, so like these chain belts all have energy shield on them. These rustic belts all have global physical damage on them. That's the mod that it will have. A leather belt is a life mod, and a uh, heavy belt is a strength mod. Just so you know, even like certain helmets and stuff like that will have certain things too. Like, well, they'll have like higher tiers and stuff like that. Like, this is a higher tier el helmet. Um, I'm just gonna get grab this because I haven't found a better flask yet. Stay true to you. And I'm gonna yeah, just throw that there. Also, so like what I mean by like tiers of helmets, like there's certain base items. So like these helmets, like this, this is an armor in ES. So this is a soldier helmet. Like this one is like the first, this is like act one helmet. So this is just the armor one. Let me see, is there an armor one just in here? This would be the next armor evasion one. Oh, so this is the next pure armor one right here. So this is like the upgrade tier to this one here. So, just to show you guys that, um, which I should probably get like this at least, or this. They're pure evasion. I don't think there is. Um, I don't know. We can throw like an orbit chance on this. There we go. I should probably sell stuff. Also, if you sell stuff, there are, um, there are uh, certain recipes, like, so if I sell, like, this ring right here, right? Oh, hang on, what is it? Or yellows, too. If you sell yellows, you will get uh, alteration shards and alteration, or alchemy shards as well. So if I get that, 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 and that. Rings and stuff like that are usually really good, but right now when you're low, low level, uh, yellows. Are really good if you need shards for Travel alterations far. all right so we're gonna go back to the crossroads here so what i do for the crossroads this is i don't know this is this is the way i go is i go north or northeast here which is where um Where the first bandit quest is now bandits give you a bandits give you a certain um what do you call it like like almost like a passive tree node right they give you like a certain passive tree node so this guy up here will give me like more dodge if i was gonna go like dodge uh build it definitely give me a lot more dodge i'm thinking i don't know if i was going dodge then I would probably want to go this guy here I 
I'm gonna pick this jeweler orb. Jeweler orbs are pretty nice. So, to get to this bandit, just follow the road. There will be a waypoint right here. This waypoint is always by the road. If you follow this road, it should take you to uh, the bandit, which is right here. I'm not up to that. We go yet. fight this bandit guy here. And I'll show you uh, what he does. It, it tells you what he'll give you. Your travel. So he'll give me attack speed, dodge, and movement speed if I want. Now. I'm trying to debate right now with this character. Do I want to go dodge? Do I want to purely go dodge build? I don't... Uh, as a bow character... Uh, you know what? I think, I'll, I think I'd help this guy. Now, in this case... I'm just saying because I want the extra dodge attack hits. It'll help me through uh, dodge for my build. I don't want to go too much in builds and stuff like that because that's like... A way different video but anyways since if i was going to help this guy i didn't think about it if i was going to help this guy i wouldn't even come this way until later he would have been the last guy that I would show up to i'll help no him pain, anyways no just to show yeah i'll probably portal right here too because we're going to go back to the crossroads um but yeah i think i'm gonna help him because i want that extra Whoa. dodge let's um, I'm not going to overthink it. I'm not going to overthink it. Anyways, so I want to go to the crossroads. I'm telling myself I'm not going to overthink it, but I'm overthinking it. But uh, I was thinking, uh, so in the bandits, there's three bandits. Oak is like a, a life one. He gives you like life, more physical damage, and I think regenerate life. And then there's uh, the witch lady on the west side. Which, uh, she gives you mana regen, resistances, and, uh, crit. So, but if you kill all, if you kill all three of them, you get plus two the skill points for your tree. So those are your, like, your, your four choices. And cruelty go hand in hand. So you get pretty much four choices. You either help one, or, um... Or you kill all of them and then uh, you get their. Uh... Oh, this also, too. Einhart is here in Act 2. So Einhart missions will start up here. Um, yeah, let me do this. So there'll be beasts here. And with Einhart, there's always. My mana is gone. Oh, jeez, my mana's getting wrecked here. I need more mana flasks. Just realized. Um. So a red beast is gonna be the high, like the hardest one to fight, and so Einhard just showed up right now, and he'll capture these beasts. So pretty much he'll give you like a bonus quest, right? And oh look at we got a mana flask. There we go. We'll go there. I don't need this, and I don't need that. So throw them out. Oh, I don't have my low tier. Hang on, one sec. Let's put this up right now so I can see. Otherwise, I'm not going to see stuff. Because I, I was playing on my higher level character. Um, so yeah, so now he gives us fine and weaken the beast. So we got to capture four beasts. We just did the hardest one. Red beasts are the hardest. And he'll capture them. So now we got two out of four. We'll actually, we'll actually do this quest at least once. So I can just show you guys what Einhardt does. And when I run into the other, um, when I run into the other, uh, masters, which, like I said, they're pretty much just, like, side quests in a way. So we gotta look for these beasts. They can literally be anywhere in this map and zone area. So, so yeah, this is one of the mechanics here. Um, also in the middle here is the waypoint. The for the Chamber of Sins level 1 will always be in the middle here. Just so you know. And here's a beast. If you see the icon on your map, it's a little like yellow uh, bird skull thing. Now we got three. Um, 
I need to get one more beast here. And I, I found the doorway here. The doorway is either going to be down here or up here or over here. I'm, I'm using the map. This one's over here, but I'm going to go get the last beast before we go down there we're real quick. So let's yeah, finish that. Um, let's see. Where are you at, little beast? There's blues. Oh, coral ring. We got a life ring. Probably gonna have to worry about resistances here though pretty soon. Alright, here's the last beast. So we'll kill the last beast here. Oh, we brought a unique uh, guy here too. That was a hunt you will not soon forget. Your so Einhardt, see Goodbye. mission complete, which my webcam is kinda of in the way, but I'll tell you mission is complete. Or I'll tell it up here, I guess, too. And you completed it, and so he will invite you to his um into his uh his place. I can't remember the beastry place. And you can go fight the beasts that you captured, and then you can get like certain recipes um for him. Which uh in a different video I'll probably make that. I I don't do too much with beastry. Uh I know it is good. But this is something I have to learn more of. I've done like a lot of beastry quests, but I just I haven't gone actually into this place yet, so I have a lot to do there. Um but yeah, I don't. There, there's a decent amount of good crafting options there, but it's something I have to even learn myself some more with those end game mechanics. So, um, here's another trial here. This one you have to watch out for the saw blades. Yeah, watch out for these. Don't worry about these switches. They they just jibate you. So watch out. You don't you don't have to grab these. They just make you go in a room or shut a door on yourself. Um, but yeah, you don't have to worry about that at all. So yeah, just click this trial. Boom, you got that trial done with. Nice and easy. Take this greater life flask. I think it's better than this one. I'm just throwing those out, guys. You guys can keep them if you want. That's totally up to you. Uh, I'm just throwing them up just because uh, I have so many, or I have like a whole flask uh, uh, tab, so. Um, let me see here. I'm not up to that just yet. Not up to that just yet, okay. What about these gloves, because I got crappy gloves. Yeah, why not? Those are better. Um, let's go here. So we're gonna go to the Chamber of Little Sins 2, and usually it's this long hallway. So we're in the right spot right now. I can tell usually. So yeah, you see this portal thing right here. You're definitely in the right way. Um, you have to go up here. And we're gonna have to defeat this lady right here. You need to defeat her. Yeah, let's see this. She kind of hits hard a little bit. I do remember way back in the day, dude. She used to like, like too shy, and nowadays she doesn't hurt as much. So we get the gem. Once we get the gem, we finish that quest. We can go back, and we can change. Are we gonna uh, turn in this quest? Which I think maybe exiles. Him. Yeah. Yeah, and this guy doesn't like exiles. He just he just spit on me. Um. Hmm. Poison ice. Sunda. I don't know. I guess I'll just take this. Sure, arrow. Going. Yeah, yeah. I'm going, dude. Um. All right. So, the next one I'm going to do is, I'm going to do the Find the Golden Hand. This is another one I don't usually do. Again, I think it's an item or respect points for this one. But this one is the south uh, road here. 
On the crossroads, you, you usually use like all the roads here. So just follow the road here, go up to the Fell Shrine Ruins. When you're in the Fell Shrine Ruins, again, just follow the road. Lots of road following in this one. Let's keep going. We're so what? We're level 19. Yeah, we're like pretty over leveled for this right now. Um, let's go over here. Keep following the road. There, get this good XP. Um. Oh, here comes like Is this? Oh no, this is the one of the bosses here. Alright, um, and this is a pretty long road until you get to this area, which the road kind of disappears, but usually you just follow this, like, little path right here. Just follow this, and it should bring you where you gotta go here, which is the crypt, level one. And there's a waypoint here, and there is, um... I think it's a trial, I'm right? I'm not up to that just yet. I think it's in uh, level two, though. So there is another trial here. Oops. Which, uh, if, if for trials, there's one in Act One that we did that was in the prison. Uh, there's two in Act Two, and three in Act Three. Which uh, I'll show you all of them. Alright, so we're going through all this. Almost level 20 on this character. Alright, so yeah. Oh no, the, the trial's here. It's weird though. Usually it tells me... Oh, maybe because I have it turned off. But yeah, anyways, this is the next trial. Again, don't worry about the switches at all. Or no, this one you have to worry about the switches. I lied to you guys. I'm sorry. Alright, this switch you don't have to worry about. Ow. Don't worry about those switches at all. Let's go here. Dodge the pillars. It's a grand life flask. Click the portal. I'm gonna do my level real quick. Probably go here. I'm gonna do that. And then we go through the portal. We got that trial done. We'll say trial completed. I'm gonna level up my gems. Alright, so here's crit two. Gotta go get the golden hand. Again, I usually don't do this one. But it is good to come here for the trial, at least. Um, pretty much a good thing to do that. Just so you don't have to come back. I usually come back. Um, just because my character is a lot faster, usually. And I can just, like, just fly through this and not really attack anything. Let's see, there's an Einhart here. I'm not worried about Einhart right now, though. I already showed you guys what you have to do for that. Um, let's see. Is it, it might be over here. Let me go check over here. No, it's not. It's not. I think it's a dead end. Scroll Wisdoms. Alright, it must be this way. Go over here. All right. I'm not up to that just yet. Okay. okay. <laughs> I, I always find dead ends all the time. All right. This is right here. This bridge right here is usually the spot. Like there's this like long little bridge. You want to lay out. And this guy is the guy you got to kill. This big boy. Archbishop, dude. Okay, and shh. Let me see. Can I... Okay, we got him. So, Golden Hand is right here. 
I'm gonna go. I'm gonna turn in the quest. Alright. Um Stay true. Okay, so no, this is for uh, a gem. So this is totally up to you if you want to get a uh, a jewel here, not a gem, a jewel. And actually I'll probably get this one. Oh, I need to get respect ones. But I usually don't do that one. Um, I don't even think I have this one yet, yeah, either. Um, but yeah, you can get respect points, all that. If you want. I'm gonna put all this stuff away real quick. There we go. And I'm just gonna put these away for right now. I don't need that. I can sell most all that away. And I'm just gonna sell all this stuff real quick, chat. Turn it all in. Throw it in the stash. Alright, so now we completed this whole right side. I usually do this whole right side. I see some people go right and then go left. They have different ways of doing Act 2. I've seen a, a few different ways. But uh, now we're going to go uh, to the riverways here. And for the riverways, I just fo just follow the road. Right? We're just going to follow the road. Again, we are five levels over, so I'm going to kind of slow it down on, like, killing stuff. Um, except for blues. Like, this is good XP. Might, you should do it. Actually, I'm going to take these gloves. But yeah, I like, my XP is still going up, even though I'm five levels over, right? Alright, so I'm just going to keep going. Follow the road. Yeah, blues or purples, you know, they're just good XP. But like I said, if you just want to kill everything, get get way over leveled. Well, this map is good. Go right ahead. There's no nothing wrong with it. Uh, okay. Sometimes dash. I mean, dash should work. I don't know why I wasn't working there. Um, I might use this because I'm gonna go dodge. For this build uh so yeah waypoint is by the road always and we're gonna go all the way to the west here oh torment spirits torment spirits uh not bad in the early game but late game they can be really annoying sometimes because they can go see see oh no he didn't do it so you either can kill him, but if you don't kill him, you chase it. He'll like run into a like yellow uh, uh, monster. And if he runs into a yellow monster, he'll torment like the monster. And pretty much all he does is he just like upgrades the monster. I'll be maybe I'll be able to show you once I run into another one again. So that's pretty much all they do, and they just buff up the monster and the rewards of it. it I haven't gotten like two great rewards from it. Like, I don't know. I haven't got, I don't think, at least I can't remember if I got spectacular. Anyways, in the western forest here, this is the waypoint here. What I usually do, so there's one side, this is the spider side, which has the spider web trees, right? Uh, for the other uh, bandit that we're looking for, so we're looking for the bandit, hey, chaos over with the bandit. Chaos Orbs are good. They're like the dollar bills of Path to Exile. Good if you're playing Trade League. I'll even, it's, it's, I mean, it's good for even hardcore um, and that. But anyways, so for this bandit right here, you have, there's a path. There's a rock path right here. Follow this rock path. And it will lead you to the bandit. We go right here. Let's see right here. That's just the way to tell where she is at. I am not going to help her, but she does give you mana regen, uh, crit strike multiplier, or all elemental resist. She is really good um, if you have like a elemental resist problem or whatever in the mana, but it just depends what character you're playing. I'm going to go and kill her, so we're going to fight her right here. Her fight, her fight uh, starts right here. I'm just gonna do this. 
Get her down. She's down. There we go. I hate to pluck a pretty flower, even a poisonous okay. one like you. So I'm gonna go back out, and uh, so now I. That's what I usually I do. I go get her, and then I usually do the spider. Which this is just gonna be out here, you, and like you can tell that all this everything's just webbed. It's like the whole the whole forest is all spider webbed. But yeah, there's gonna be a like spider cave somewhere over this direction. Oh, see, it's right up here. So we're gonna go right here. Weaver's chambers, and we're going to. Go kill a giant spider. That's what we're gonna do. Um, again, I don't know the layout very well for like uh, Weaver here. I'm not up to that just yet. So, I'm just gonna search around the cave. Hopefully, find it. This is a. Oh, all right. Well, I can show you guys this real quick because we haven't done one of these yet. So, if you see one of these. Which has a like red heart. Um, this is a Val dungeon. So what Val dungeons do? At least I call them Val dungeons. The reason I call them Val too is you get a Val gem, which I can show you what Val gems do as well. Uh, again, there will be mods in this, so like monsters deal thirty-five extra physical damage as coal, but you get more items. Quantity is uh, more items. And players have Elemental Aquarium, which um, I think, if I remember correctly, which is on your tree. What is it? Uh, oh, it's right here. So enemies you hit with the Elemental Damage get 25. For... Oh my god, I can't even talk. Yeah, something's trying to attack me right now. Anyways, uh, enemies you hit with Elemental Damage temporarily get plus 25% resistance to those elements and have negative 50 resistance to other elements. Just so you know what that is. Um, so yeah, each Val Dungeon has certain mods in it. You have to be really careful. Some will have reflect like physical damage or elemental damage. And if you're not immune to reflect, you will take yourself out. Uh, I actually have done it recently to my uh, physical character. So anyways, there's a boss at the end of each Val uh, Dungeon. Which um, is this guy right here? And we're gonna get him down. And sometimes you can get good items here. Um, I'm not gonna tell you that. And then the Val Vessel is the one that gives you a gem. And I usually like corrupted items. And if you don't know what corrupted items are, this uh, piece right here says corrupted at the bottom where it's all red. That means you cannot change anything on the item. The item is exactly the way it is, and you cannot change it if you corrupt it. Now, we got Detonate Dead, which is a Val, or Val Righteous Fire, Val Blight. I wonder if I have a, I might have a Val Reign of Arrows, which I, I'm not 100% sure if I do, but I'll have to show you guys what Val. So pretty much what Val uh, gems do is, um, they just, uh, they give you like a secondary ability of that gem. So if I had like rain arrow, like do something different. Which I think there's a rain arrow one, but again, I don't know all the Val gems. Some Val gems are really good to use, some are eh. So like instance, if you did ground slam, you're like playing like a marauder. If ground slam, ground slam just like attacks in front of you. But if you have a Val ground slam, it does it like attacks all around you. So it, it modifies the ability. <laughs> All right. So this is Weaver. This is the boss right here. When you get to the cave here, Weaver can be deadly. Again, we are pretty over leveled, but oh, see, it kind of still hurts though. And so Weaver will like go back up, and then all I have to do is fight these guys.
Yeah, he just spawns a bunch of spiders. And it comes back down. That uh, weaver does do some damage. And voila, we have the spike right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to teleport back. So use the TP. We can go turn this in. We still have one more bandit to go. We can't turn that quest in yet. Um, I want to grab all the... Do I want to grab the dodge? Yeah, probably. Um, what troubles you bring now? I need that one, actually. Uh, actually, I don't need... Travel far. So I'll turn this in real quick. Wish we get another... Probably get uh probably this is the best one for me right now. Faster attack. If you're following a build, just follow whatever the build uh build that you need for like gems wise. Um so now I'm gonna go back to the Western Forest because I got one more quest there to do, which is down. All you have to do is follow the road here. So we'll follow the road. Oh yeah, I gotta get this last here. Um, let's go this way. So here's the black guards. This is the guy that you have to kill here. He drops this emblem because he's the one that's blocking the road. You go over here, you click on the seal. The road is unblocked. Now we'll go back and we'll TP. Now this quest, this is the quest that was back in Act 1. So you have to go back to Act 1 to turn this quest in. And this quest is important because you do get a skill point. We're going to go back. We're going to get our skill point. And voila. Now we're completely done with Act 1. And we get the skill point, and we'll go there. Um, so now I'm going to go back, because now we're going to go. Now we're going to go beat uh, Professor Oak, which he's up here uh, north. He's oh, over yonder here. Again, just follow this path right here. This, like, uh, I don't know, off road path. It's a straight up. Straight up like northwest to the, the waypoint here. And that would be the wetlands. So we're going to go to uh, Professor Oak here. Which Professor Oak should be. So he's usually like somewhere over here in the middle ish area. He'll be a hill. Oh, so he's over, over here. He popped up. So you go over here, you gotta find the entrance to, uh, cause he's like, he's got like, he's on like a hill around the whole thing. So we have to beat this guy. This guy has some like life regen. We're gonna kill him. I don't need what he, he's gonna give me. But we're lagging here. I don't know why we're lagging. But we are lagging. Yeah, he does, he does heal. I might have to get like an upgrade to like my bow or something like that. So yep, yeah, Oak is not gonna die, I guess. Okay. Alright, there we go. Nice, nice, nice. Do some good for once in your sorry life, bandit. Bandit. Feed the worms. Alright, so then we're gonna do that. Uh, we can go help. Uh, with the bandit that I want the dodge from, which I need to find the waypoint though. Looking for I'm not waypoint. up to that just yet. Oh, here we go. Here's the waypoint. 
So we put, we can go back now here. I might just do it real quick just to show you guys. Um, to go turn it in. Because I want the extra dot. Hand, is it this way or is it this way? Oh, I think it's this way. I could be wrong though. Could be wrong here. Oh no, we're good, we're good. Nice. So I'm just gonna go in here because we do need to turn this in so we can go further to the to, to the act two boss. So I'm gonna help. Ah. Oh, I, I want his dodge. He gives me this apex. We can go back. Now we can go back to where we were. So we'll go back to the wetlands. So we only have one more quest, and that is to go defeat the Act 2 boss. And what's my bow right now? Because I feel like we're getting pretty weak. Anyways. Like, I, I just feel like my damage is slightly off. Now, I have I have a really good gear that, like, if I run into a problem, I can just switch to, like, one of my unique bows or whatever I have. Make this run better. Um... I kind of wanted to teach as I go, kind of thing, not just run with like all leveling gear. If you're wondering why I'm not like doing that, but if I do run into a problem, maybe I'll, I'll do that. But I wanted to like teach brand new players like kind of crafting gear a little bit, um, like using orb alchemies or essences or anything like that. So, anyways, we're in the Val Ruins. We're looking for the next exit. Um. Of course, I find a dead end. I'm really good at that. Oh, this thing right here, like these guys ain't dying. I have to find the one that I'm supposed to kill. So it's this one right here. And once you beat him, the others will not be immune. So like they're just immune to death until the one that is giving the aura. Uh, once you defeat that one, then you can kill all the rest. Just so you know, if you're running like, why are they not dying? That's because we haven't, we haven't killed the right one. That's giving off the aura to the others. Um, so I'm just trying to find the exit to this place. Now, this place is level 20. We're level 22 right now. Almost 23. Uh, I'm really good at finding dead ends. I'm not up to that just yet. Um, oh, here we go. So yeah, if you didn't have the apex, like, you can't move this ball thing. But now that we did the... Uh, now that we uh, showed it... Uh, or we did the bandit quest, we can we can move it. Alright. Um so we're gonna go find the right way, hopefully. Here we go. Which is the northern forest. After the northern forest now, which we have one more spot to go. There's a place called the Dread Thicket here. I don't ever go to it. There's no quests or anything. No really point in going at it at all. It's just a side area. But uh, if you want to check it out, check it out. That's totally up to you. Um, yeah. So we're just going to keep going. I'm going to follow the edge around here. This one should be like northeast. There's a frost shrine. I'm not going to even pick it up. Not really worried about it. Just keep her going until we get to pretty much to it. We're going to like this pyramid that we gotta go with that we have to like climb up to to fight the Act 2 boss. So if we keep going this way, let's follow the, the water here. A lot of XP here. Um, going up this way. So yeah, here's the door right here. The caverns. We use the caverns and then we then we go to the the pyramid here. 
So we kind of like work our way up. Um. Let's go this way. Now we're 23, and this place is 22. So level-wise, we're doing pretty good. trying to kill monsters at the same time because when you kill monsters your flask uh, goes up um, so I'm trying to so I can keep getting my speed flask my movement speed flask and I can move faster here's this waypoint right here I'm not up to that just yet and this is where we should be uh, climbing to the top which it's like a it's like a big pyramid my mana is gone. How many links do I have? Oh yeah, I only have a two link, huh? Probably should look for a three link. Again, I can feel my damage is getting weaker. I only have like a two link bow right now. Um... There we go. I think it's usually. Uh, I think each one is on a corner of the pyramid. So you have to kind of guess which one. I'm gonna go up here. Here's this totem. This totem. You have to kill the totem to be able to kill these monsters. Maybe be able to kill it. Oh, so it's right here. Northeast. So we can go upstairs. Look for another corner. I'm gonna go down to the south one here. All right, so right here. And I think we got like one more. And, and when you go higher and higher, obviously, because you gotta think of a pyramid, it gets smaller and smaller. So I think right here. Okay, so yeah, this is the next. This is the last stairs right here, and then we're gonna fight the Act 2 boss. So you gotta double click right here. Just so you know, it won't show up on my screen, but there is a crafting recipe right here. Make sure you always pick these up. I already unlocked it, and these are always like scattered out. You'll see them in like Delve and stuff, or just like throughout the story. Yeah, this is the big Val Oversoul. This guy here. All I would say is watch out for his lasers. That's the one that hurts the most. Or watch out for his big hammer slam. When he's doing this little ice thing, it's not so bad. The rocks will kind of get you too. See, so he's doing his big slam right now. That might be able to one-shot you, depending on how strong your character is. This rock thing too is kind of annoying. So yeah. Um so he does like this icing, he does the rock fall, he does a big slam, he does a laser. He hasn't done the laser yet. Oh, maybe yet? No, no, big slam. Let's get away from the big slam. Oh, now he's doing the rock slide. I don't know why I'm calling it rock slide, but he's doing the knocking off all the stones. Alright, here we go. Still fighting this dude. My damage is really bad right now. Oh, here's the laser. 
That thing can really hurt. Yeah, wow, I need to, I really need to upgrade my stuff. Maybe before the next video, I'll upgrade a little bit of my gear. I think I have some gear for him anyways. But at least you get to see the whole fight, though. I actually get to see it. I, I didn't want to, like, come in here and just, like, freaking just destroy it. And then you don't get to see anything of the fight. Oh, okay. So, yeah, definitely that laser really, really hurts. See, this is not good. Now, let's say we run into this problem I got right now. I don't have enough mana and my flasks are all gone. Just use a te uh, teleport or a TP. And um, you can get all your flasks back up. That's just kind of a tip, too. Oh, a rock slide thing is happening. Laser. I was la lasering the my, my ballistas. Alright, here we go. We'll finish them right here. There we go. And he is done. Amongst your kind nightmare, you're not welcome in my world. So now that is the end of Act Two, and this is the beginning of Act Three. So I just want to say thank you guys for watching. Uh, I hope this helped out for you guys. Uh, I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, I'm really bad at that. I'm trying to get better at that. But anyways, I hope this helps a little bit. If you're a brand new player, um, that's my whole goal. I want to get you into PoE and try to explain as much as I can through the first 10 acts. Because the first 10 acts, it's kind of like a tutorial. Because once you get to the end game, it gets much bigger, much spread out. There's a lot more mechanics, stuff like that. But I hope this is a good guide. And I give you a little bit of tips of items and stuff like that. But uh, I will be making my Act 3 video next week. Um... So yeah, if you guys would like to hit that like button or subscribe to the channel, I'd really, really appreciate it. Just a heads up, I do a lot of anime. Uh, if you're a fan of anime, I do a lot of anime. I do my own podcast called Anime Talk with Old Ish, if you want to check that out on my channel. Um, I'm going to be starting to make a lot more PoE videos, and I do a lot of Let's Plays as well. If you guys enjoy that stuff, that's on this channel as well. But for Path of Exile, I'm hoping to bring a lot more content to my channel with PoE on my YouTube channel. And if you want to catch me, I do stream uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Um, I stream on Twitch at twitch.tv slash oldish22 if you guys want to check it out there. And I will most likely be playing Path of Exile. Um, and yeah, so yeah, if you guys want to follow me there as well. But I do appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Have a good one, and keep playing that P.O.E. Keep grinding.